Hey guys, Jay Snow, and we have a dinosaur deck for you guys. So this is kind of based off the 5 and 0 list that's going around in, the, in uh, Magic Online right now. With a couple of changes for fun. So this is a semi-competitive deck only because I'm not running the 100% you know meta version. Because I don't really enjoy playing super meta decks. But if you want to play the meta deck version, I'll have it in the, I'll have it in the description below. But this version is just a ton of fun. So what we run is one thud. So this actually wins a lot of games. Because basically what you're doing is you get out Rotting Regisaur on turn 3 attack with it on turn 4 and then turn 5 thud it or other or if the game continues for a long time you can either thud uh rotting register or you can thud a galta to the face so 12 damage for one mana is pretty nice and it's won me a bunch of games surprisingly but i just run one because it's basically a spicy tech card and technically is not running any of the other decks four community dinosaurs that's self-explanatory four marauding raptors this card is yes so basically your creatures cost one less, it deals two damage to any creature that enters the field on your side. So the only problem is if you have too many out, it will kill your creatures. And if you have Optech Huntmaster not out on the field while this is out, it will kill the Optech Huntmaster. I've done that by mistake. So just try to balance your Marauding Raptors, because yeah, while it's fun to have your creatures cost less, two or more basically kill off the entire deck. Uh, four Optech Huntmasters, pretty nice. Also Marauding Raptor. Oh, what do you call it? gains two attack every time he hits a dinosaur with his ability. So sometimes you might want to have multiples out because you'll be able to get the high damage really quick. Uh, one Collision Colossus. I did not want to run this card because it just seems like, and eh, it just doesn't seem interesting, but it does win you a ton of games, so definitely run at least one of them. I don't know, I'm just not a fan of this card, but it, it wins you games, so that's the thing. It will definitely win you games. Four Riding Regisaurs. This is busted. Because you in this deck you won't really be keeping a hand, so eventually you, discarding a card means absolutely nothing. It's a turn three seven six, which means if your opponent's not playing removal, they're basically screwed. Two ranging raptors. This card is optional. It doesn't really do that much. Sometimes I come. I, sometimes I combine it with two marauding raptors just to get two lands off of it. But otherwise, ramp is not really a huge issue in this deck because of old tech hunt master and marauding raptor. So I'm probably going to replace it, I just don't know with what at the moment. One Thrashing Brontanon to get rid of Artifacts Enchantments. Four Ripjaw Raptors to draw cards in combo with Marauding Raptor. Uh, two Shifting Ceratops. So I would say run four of these if you have it. The main list runs four. Because it can't be countered. It has Hexproof from Blue, which is like freaking everything in the meta right now at this point. Or at least last meta. It can't be countered. Protection from Blue. And you can even give it Haste as a green card, which is absolutely insane. So you can give it haste for just one green. And it's a 5-4. It's a powerhouse, pretty much. Four Regicel Alphas. You must have this card because it gives other dinosaurs haste. And you can go for turn four. You can go for turn four wins if you have Marauding Raptor out. So it's absolutely insane. Two Itali Primal Storms. I was only be able to, I was only able to get this out once. And it was pretty hilarious when it did. But otherwise, if you have this plus somebody to give it haste, it's pretty awesome. One Immortal Sun to deal, this is an optional card, but it deals with Planeswalkers, totally optional. But I run it just because it deals with Planeswalkers, plus it gives you creatures plus one, and then things cost even less, it's just fun. And then two Galta to Primal Hungerers, because you'll be able to get it out really quickly if you have Rotting Regisaur out. So basically, Marauding Raptor, Rotting Regisaur, Galta, and you're pretty much good to go. Uh, let's go to the sideboards. The sideboard's pretty important, I run two Duress. Uh, I haven't really used this at all because I feel like I have to like blow through opponents' decks really quickly with damage. So by the time I start looking at the hand, it hasn't really done anything for me. But the main deck or the meta decks run them apparently. Two Veil of Summer. I might actually dump it the rest for another dump the rest altogether for Veil of Summer because this card is awesome. Basically, if somebody thought erases you. You go play this, you get Hexproof, so the Thought Erasure doesn't go through, and you draw a card for one mana. And for the rest of the turn, you have Hexproof and Bloom Black. That alone is amazing, because I hate Thought Erasure. Uh, we have two Fry, that this is five damage to target creature or Planeswalker, that's white or blue. Problem with this card is Teferi, you can't instantly kill Teferi with this because of this effect. So, it's an okay sideboard card, but I don't know, I feel like this has got to be like a replacement for this. Uh, two Collision Colossuses, I already explained that. Three flame sweeps, so this does two damage to every creature. This is good for aggro matchups, because the problem with that is, I mean, for any go wide matchups, because the problem is you can get Rotting Regisaur out, and then you realize, oh, Rotting Regisaur doesn't have trample, so he can just, somebody can just block with one creature at a time, and then he's stuck discarding cards. Which is why a Collision Colossus is almost a must, but once again, not a fan of the card. But don't listen to me on that one. Uh, so three flame sweeps, 
one Thrashing Bronzodon and one Carnage Tyrant. And I run two Leyland the Voids just in case there's a deck that uses the Graveyard, but I haven't really run into it. Uh, the main actual deck instead of runs three Thrashing Bronzodons. Uh, what do you call it? Three Thrashing Bronzodons and three the rest. That's the difference between mine and theirs. And only one Collision Colossus, but I mean, the sideboard's pretty much up to you. So this deck is a lot of fun. Feel free to try it out. Just make sure you have the wild cards for it because it's pretty expensive. And hope you guys enjoy the games coming up. So thanks for watching and feel free to hit that like button. He's running out of, well, can't say he's running out of gas yet, but he didn't draw Furious Obsession, so that's good. It's a four now. I'll give myself hex pro ah, oh, there it is. Ouch. Oh, it's gonna be a race? Ooh, he's gonna try to race me. <laughs> that's gonna be fun. Alright. Uh let's see what we can do here. Can we take out 16 right now? Can we do 16 damage by turn? What is it? Turn four? Oh my god. Oh, but this is. I can't give both of them haste. That would be ridiculous. Alright, so we're gonna play Rotting Registrar for one. <laughs> oh, he's going for the counter. Let's see if this is actually how Veil of Summer works. No, that's 15, right? Nah. <laughs> Veil of Summer. Draw a card. So that's Hexproof, right? Yes. Alright, cool. Resolve. Alright, two. Give this haste. Oh yeah, that's game, because we've added thought as a lull. It's a troll card. And then for one damage, we thud. Let's target a creature or player. Sacrifice this. Submit. Can't be countered. <laughs> that's funny. With this first. Choosing Dinosaur. Pass. The last time I played an Esper deck, well, it did not go well. It was just a fairy at the safari. Uh, Thought Erasure, damn. Alright, we'll play first. Ah, I'll keep this. I mean, Registrar's gonna mess me up again, but we'll see what happens. Oh, you guys. Alright, let's see what he's doing. Probably it's a mulligan, I guess, or just taking his time. Alright, so we'll play this in tap. Pass the turn, play Marauding Raptor, go straight into Ripjaw Raptor. Raptors, Raptors, Raptors. Alright, let's go with. Ooh, we got the combo here. I like that. Alright, Marauding Raptor. I mean, he has a lot of one land destroyers, or whatever you want to call them. Uh, if he lives, that'd be sweet. But, it looks like he probably won't. Alright, he will live. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, so we'll go with this. Play this. Play Rip Draw Raptor. Make that deal 2 damage to that draw card. Another, oh, another Raptor. Alright, we'll attack 4. Yeah, this should be in my favor, technically. Because I can smack him with a Regisaur. But we'll find out what happens. Alright, Elphakaya, that's annoying, but we do have... Yeah, that kind of messes me up a tiny bit. So three, he's not going to attack unless he's foolish. What are you doing? There's no, there's no attacks here. <laughs> there are absolutely no attacks here. Alright, uh, we'll play this again. We'll play Pay to Life. We'll play Rotting Regisaur. So that's not deal two damage, but it does nothing. And we're gonna attack with Drill Raptor. That puts him at 13. Now, is that a thing that gets blanket trampled to everybody? Maybe I'll run something like that. Very time rabbit, that's the one. Come again. Stand by and watch. Hmm. Let's try this. All right, that's actually good that he bounced it back. So now I can do it again. Got to start a card though. Probably this guy. I don't think I need him. All right. Uh, shifting Ceratops is also good. But we're gonna play this. See if we get a land. All right. Real hard. 
We gotta land. That's good. We got that. Let's look at me with dinosaurs. Let's grab... Oh, yeah, Regisaur. Alright, so now he's gonna have to do something about this, otherwise he dies. Alright, so block. He doesn't know I have Thud, but he'll probably block. Just block one, just block one, just block one. You can do it! You can do it! Do it! Do it! Ah, he's a nine! I can't do it! Damn it! Alright, oops then. <laughs> I got excited for a second. Oh, that sucks. Trust me, I have a plan. I right, probably thought erasure, but nah, I not thought erasure. That wouldn't even do anything for him. And now looking at my sideboard, I mean, none of my sideboard actually appeared. And he's playing the same card, so maybe the fiery thing. If I didn't, I don't remember if I sided in then. Because he's played this again, so I guess it could be useful. Yeah, see, we're having this problem again, and I don't like this problem. I guess Regisaur... Uh, I need a land. Ah, there you go. Alright, we'll play this. We'll create this. We'll go next. We'll attack whatever. One there. So that's two. Oh, you decided to take three? Okay. Fine with me. Take two life. Love it. Uh, we'll do... Target him, sacrificing this. Nice. Alright, that's pretty much because we went first, though. That's what I hate about this game right now. It's like, meta is literally just going first. If you go first, you win. Uh, you know, you might add Flame Sweep. You know, let's dump Ranging Wrap this Flame Sweep. I'm hoping to get flame sweep in the first hand. But Veil of Summer's kind of bad, but we'll keep. Oh, that's horrible. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, we'll pay two life just because we need him to. Veil of Summer, if he plays a blue or a black spell, I can uh, do stuff here. Oh, crap. Didn't do it. <laughs> ah, this sucks. Alright, we'll play that last. Alright, I need him to throw an erasure or whatever. Do something. Do something. Thought erasure, sweet! Alright, so now I get to draw a card and keep my hand. It's like hex roof. Alright, we'll play Marauding Raptor. And we'll play a green, leap of green open. Or another Bale of Summer. Yeah, Bell of Summer is the is the bee's knees. Hero Prison 1 is fine. You have to play a blue or a black spell. There you go, cast down perfect. Alright, draw another card, hexproof. Does nothing. Damn, we are smacking this guy. Getting smacked. Oh, he's about to get smacked. Mechasaurus Rex, son. Get smacked. Can't block him. He's <laughs> like, can't attack. <laughs> uh, yeah, he blocked the 3 1. That's the only choice, I mean. Smackasaurus Rex. That's what I'm gonna call this deck. Just Smackasaurus Rex. Alright, let's see what he's got. He has a board wipe and slight trouble. If one of them dies, that's fine, I guess. Yeah, I guess that's fine. It's annoying, but I guess it's fine. Oh, that's not fine. Alright, so we're gonna have to, like. I don't know what we're gonna do here. To be honest. Alright, so what we're gonna do is this first. This second. Oh, I needed another green. Crap. Alright, we'll play this tab. Last turn. Alright, so it depends on what he does on this turn. So then I'm just kind of screwed if he were to blow up the board, but I don't think he runs board wipes, because otherwise that would screw up his. 
hero. Uh oh. Uh, okay. Six. Let's go six man. Man the Dread Horde and die? Okay, why'd he kill that? Oh, that's annoying. That's very annoying. Not cool. Definitely not cool. Alright, draws a card. Hey, hey, look at that. Hey, hey, hey. Alright, let's play this. Let's play this. No, wait, hold up. Oh, I tapped my green mana. Are you serious? No, wait. Oh, I was about to say, I thought it messed up my mana. Oh, yeah, I gotta manually tap for this. Yeah, otherwise it's gonna screw me over. Routing Registor. Primal Hungerer. And we go all in. <sighs> he draws Kaiser Wrath and I'll lose it. What is it? What's the last card? What's the last card? I ain't falling for this, so I'm just gonna attack with one. Alright. Woohoo! Veil of Summer, man. OP. I mean, it's not OP, it's like the card we needed for green. Just because of how oppressive this stuff is.